First Updates Now videos are brought to you by Stryker. Discover why so many FIRST alumni and mentors are putting Stryker first when it comes to their careers, internships, and co-ops. Visit careers.stryker.com forward slash first to learn more. Hi, I'm Nikki here with First Updates Now, and this is Behind the Bumpers. I'm here with Miss Daisy, Team 341 from Ambler, Pennsylvania, and I'm here with Davis, Jasmine, and Chris. So we're gonna talk at first about your catting program yes. and how fit like 50% of the team catted this year. Impressive. So this year um, before build season, we started a new CAD curriculum where we really tried to reach out to our uh, younger students and teach everyone how to CAD. So we taught over 30 of our students how to CAD and uh, now our whole robot, 100% student designed, student built, um, and over 50% of the mechanisms were designed by rookies, which for our team, that's a lot of fun. Um, so we have a lot of custom uh, pieces on our robot. Basically everything is custom. Custom gearboxes, um, custom cut elevator brackets, custom drive base, basically custom everything. Um, one of our favorite subsystems is our cargo subsystem, which Jasmine is going to talk about now. So I think um, our cargo system might be the system on the robot that's been most benefited by our CAD curriculum. Um, half of these structures, there's three parts to our cargo system and half of them were designed by rookies. Uh, basically, we can intake cargo from the back of our robot and move it to the front to score, which I think is the most unique aspect of our robot this year. And it's, it makes turnarounds really quick because we don't have to turn the robot around in the middle of a match to pick up cargo and score it. So it's really sped up our um, process. And this cargo arm can also be used to push down on the HAB so we can use it for our HAB 2 climb, which is pretty awesome. And lastly, vision. So when our team first kicked off the season, we decided that vision would be a very important part for us to include in our robot. And so what we did is we built our own custom vision processing system off of a Raspberry Pi that we attached to the robot. And then the Raspberry Pi connects to two USB cameras that would stream, um, pick up data from the targets, uh, calculate the distance and angle we are away from the targets, and then send that back to the robot. And then the robot could use that data to automatically target and line up with the targets so that we can just score our hatch or our cargo. Recently, we ended up disregarding the Raspberry Pi and we hacked our own limelight together. So we made our custom owned case, which we rightfully call Sunlight, and we use it to basically emulate a limelight. So it has all the functions of a limelight, the processing power, and it sends all the data to our Robo Rio, which then uses that to again calculate the distance we need to go, line up with the targets, and come up to the targets so that we can score our hatch panels and our cargos. Thank you, and thanks for watching. This is Nikki with First Updates Now with Behind the Bumpers. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.